So today, we're going to go all out. I made a concoction. I took... This reishi mushroom. The top part, right here. Off. I put it in some stabilizing resin. After I dried it, um... I, uh... Put it in the stabilizing resin. Put it in the, um... Uh, under vacuum for just like you know you would do any state wood stabilization basically you know with the mushrooms I, I'm, I've, I've been experimenting and I've had some totally awesome pieces come out I've had some that you know you can't really tell it's a mushroom but for me it's still amazing the texture um, to be able to see inside the mushroom is it's gonna be awesome I can't wait to get this piece done to see what's inside there uh, I took the mushroom you know took it off took that that whole ridge there and I, I put it right in here kind of in the middle of the of the of the blank this crazy blank um, should glow in the dark when it's all said and done it's got some elk antler in it um, the little piece that connects to the skull it's got some deer antler in it, kind of woven through it. There should probably be about one or two pieces in each blank that I cut out of this blank. I'm not going to make one big thing out of here. Um, probably a bottle stop, bottle stop, and a pendant or two. See what they look like. Um, you never really know what you're going to get. So, yeah, deer antlers inside there um, and some stabilized wood so uh, stick around hit the like button hit the subscribe button it's my first episode I'm doing my best uh, to entertain you guys with some color wood turning I'm learning with you so I, I've really just gone through so much um, of the YouTube process of, of, of learning off of YouTube I feel like I got some things to say uh, maybe some things to purchase and not to purchase. I got a lot of um, pendants. I go to a lot of festivals. And I want to make stuff that people I know, I think, will like. Um, and maybe some other people, you know. I'm, 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 that's the point of the YouTube. Uh, get, get, get the art out there. Get some people uh, interested in what I'm doing from farther away. I'd love more feedback. I have an Etsy shop. I'd like to switch that over to a website. Fortunately, right now, I'd also like to just focus on making art. Um, I have so many different ideas that I want to do for you guys that uh, you know. I'm hoping that you'll subscribe. I'm hoping that you'll uh, stick with me and understand that I don't have the best camera. I don't have the best uh, computer or anything like that and I'm um, doing everything alone I'm learning how to do it as I go I've uh, dabbled with resin before uh, in the last four years I've, I've started some resin projects um, that were not it wasn't the wood lathe the wood lathe got me into resin the way I am now before I was just taking some things from the forest um, bugs and things and trying to to make make little things that I liked um, honeycomb uh, or not necessarily honeycomb but wasp nests are really cool um, and I like to so one of those up on the lathe I've, I've done something before um, a little pendant and sold it right away but uh, anyway you know hit subscribe I have uh, Instagram uh, Facebook we can make wake and make creations um, on Facebook and Instagram is also Wake and Make Creations. Um, I'll look it up, put a link below. I can't really tell you exactly how I spelled it for each one. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I'm gonna make a wine stopper, and it's gonna be really interesting. Peace, loving you, and giving thanks. Stick around. All right, folks, because today is the first. Wake and Make episode, let's call it a teaser. Um, we're going to start off with basically explaining some of the things I've made. Um, what I do make. Uh, 
right now I've been making a lot of these pendants. I don't make them on the lathe, but I enjoy them and I love the shape. It reminds me of a whale tooth or kind of like a surfboard. And this is half mushrooms, half deer antler. Deer antler? Yep, deer antler. It's in there. It's stabilized with cactus juice. Resin. Stabilizing resin. We'll get into to what that is. This is elk antler here. And I really love the way it quarters out when you when you take the, the elk burl and put it in here with the resin. Turkey tail mushrooms. Dyed and stabilized. Can we get a good close up of it? There you go. And it glows. They glow like the Dickens. We'll get to that eventually. Bust out some black lights for today. We're going to keep it simple. Um, bottle openers. SS Nile makes this wonderful, wonderful uh, tip, accessory hardware, for your artwork. So this here is made out of stabilized wood. Whoop. There you go. There's a piece of sugar maple from my property, dyed that green, and some pink, mystery pink wood that I had. Well, I guess I made it pink, but it was a mystery. I had no idea what it was. It was old. It was in my shop, in my old shop, um, and this is my new shop, and we'll do a tour of this eventually. I just cleaned it up with some denatured alcohol to show you what's going on. I cut it. Getting my blank prepped and ready. Um, you can see the Rishi mushroom right here. Um, this would be, you know, the last, the end, scooping down to here. You know, I have no idea what this is going to look like. There's a bit of elk. Um, I have a feeling that this bit of antler is going to end up almost completely gone because it's really thin. Um, I kind of just threw it in the blank last minute. Um, there was some room and I, I felt like it would push something else over um, this piece of antler um, so this this one's coming all the way down through this one I, yeah this one I think comes up to here so um, there's another a pink one you never know what's what with me because I, I dye everything as crazy as I can even the, the mushrooms dyed like a red orange um, and uh, if you look right here, you can see we have a pocket, and you know, I, I, I've i worked a few pieces um, with the Rishi Mushroom as practice. Uh, it, it, once you stabilize it, I, I can't seem to get resin all the way into every, every pore. Um, so, as you're working on it, especially a bigger chunk like this, which is like typically, you know, avoid using, um, because... You know, if I was just completely encasing the mushroom, um, I could virtually just dry it and put it in um, in the resin and work around it, you know. But when, once you start cutting into it, you know, wanting to see the texture, the slice of mushroom, that's how it would have grown laying there. So that should be pretty cool. should come through. Um the uh, entire pendant, or not pendant, psh, wine stopper, which you could use for water, you know, um, little, little extra nice water bottle, could you just imagine walking around with that, an old wine bottle, little macrame uh, pouch or something, you know, um, to drink out of water, uh, water out of glass. It's it's always one, you know, much better. So um, anyway, back to what we're doing here. I'm gonna mark out the center roughly with this little whacker. I've never been good with remembering all the names of every tool exactly. So um, that yeah, doodle whacker for now. Somebody can tell me what this thing's actually called. I'm sure there's more than just a, it's more than just a square, but maybe it's just a square. I picked that up at Woodcraft Supply, my local 
one. Um, all right, I'm gonna go drill the hole. Now, if you go to ssniles.com and you look around a little bit, you will see that she sells the um, the man the mandrel. I'm pretty sure it's a mandrel. Um, to you, you basically you put you put this the, the mortise uh, taper into your lathe, and then you screw your doodle whacker <laughs> into the back, and it's all explained on the website. Um, you know, I'm focusing more on just flowing through it, flowing through the art. Um, seeing what what we're what we're getting out of 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 the resin blanks, and I'm really looking forward to 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 showing to making the resin blanks um on on YouTube. But I haven't uh, never done that before, so never done this before. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway, yeah. So this sits inside the lathe, um, which you'll see in a minute, and um, it's quite simple. You screw it on there. You make your piece. And um, you make your piece with the piece, and you put it on its permanent um, hardware, and you got yourself a nice little bottle stopper. So here we go. I'm going to go drill it up. What's that? How you doing? <laughs> I could tell um, by what was coming out of the drill. Uh, drill press, you know, uh, the holes, I was drilling it, a lot of mushroom in there, and I'm going to be, um, needing that to hold my threading, or, you know, it's just going to slide off there, I, it's stabilizing isn't going to do much for a mushroom to hold, you know, thing, so what are we going to do, we're going to harden it up, um, I'm going to put some thin CA in there, and, um, I'm gonna do a whole episode on CA glue because if you or adhesive, it, if you don't know what it is, you can Google it now. Beat me to the punch, but I'm gonna do it. CA glue comes in thin, thick, medium. What do you use? Um, I'm going with thin. I'm just trying to harden it up in there. I can re re drill it out. Splish splash it around a little bit. We need that grain of the mushroom to get really hard. So when we tap it up. Where did I put the accelerator? Almost out. Let's see if we catch some smoke. Not on this. I can hear it doing its work. It's so cool. I got the SS Miles mandrel. I'm gonna put that in. Screw it a few times. It seems to be holding pretty nice, actually. All right, we got our blank loaded up. I got a piece of my glove stuck to it when I was gluing it. Still haven't changed it yet. I try not to go through gloves, and if anybody knows a really good gloves that I could wear daily that you know are still really thin but they'll hold up. Hit me up in the comment section, please. Um, I'm looking for something. Send me a picture, send me a message. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna get going on this in a second, change my glove. Um, I'm gonna shape this down with my roughing gouge and then switch over to some carbide tools. <laughs>
Hey everybody, I got my bottle stop here, uh, rough shaped, um, I'm liking it. it, it's gonna be able to stand on its end so when it's not in a bottle you'll be able to stand it and, and look at it uh, kind of a different way, you know, kind of see something different in it maybe, or you can, they stand on their own. I've gone around and filled up all the holes with some CA, I'm gonna sand it, uh, probably put some more CA on it, sand it again buff it and when I come back we'll have it all done alright thanks All right, everybody, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for watching the show, especially if you made it to the end. I thank you so much. Um, we're gonna take a look. What is that? Kind of light bulb, you know? You can see the Rishi right in here. And the pink deer antler. And this is also stabilized. I just chose to keep that one um, white. It's like the one thing I haven't colored. And so it sits like that on your table or your kitchen counter until you're ready to use it. You can set it like that, but a little bit easier to bump over. So I kind of like this style. Let me know what you think. Fits nice in your hand as you're pulling it out of the bottle. Um, please like and subscribe and share. If you thought this was good, this is just the first episode. I have gotten very humbled uh, by the other YouTubers that are uh, out there doing this weekly, monthly. Well, I'm going to try to, to do it every week. Um, I live in the woods. I, I don't have much else to do. Um, I, I got 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 to have an outlet to get this kind of stuff, these colors into something. Stick around. I'm going to do one last little clip of this under a black light and it is going to glow. Please add me under Wake and Make Creations on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.